All right, guys, I'm back with another DVD review. I don't know if you saw my unboxing video, the uh, Ring of Modern DVDs that I purchased. So I, I did watch Best in the World. This is 2017. So I just want to give my thoughts on the pay-per-view. Maybe if you if you were thinking about adding it to your Ring of Honor collection, I don't know if you like me. I know there's certain people that buy like every every Ring of Honor DVD that comes out, and they have a whole collection. They all they go all the way back to like 2002 or 2003. Uh, for me, I'm very selective of what DVDs I buy. Uh, you know, I don't want to spend that too much money, and I I, I buy DVDs I think they're going to be good. So. I bought this one just as a simple fact. The main event is uh, Christopher Daniels defending the Ring of Honor title against uh, Cody. And this is the one where Cody, when defeats Christopher Daniels, becomes a champion. So I thought it was a, it was a good, good pay-per-view, a good DVD to add to my collection because there was that big title change and, and Cody's first um, title reign uh, of, you know, first time he, he won the Ring of Honor championship. Uh, so I thought that was that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, so here's the back cover of it, and you'll, you'll see the, the matches. Uh, so we start off with the Kingdom versus Team CMLL. Again, I, I wasn't too into the match. I, I'm not too familiar with Team CMLL. Uh, I guess they're like, you know, from, from, from Mexico. Uh, again, I, don't, don't ask me about who the, their names or anything or... Uh, there's like I get, actually Ultimo Guerrero was on there. He he didn't look like he was in shape at all. Uh, that's like the thing like wrestling. You, you got to be in shape. You got to look better in shape than me. Like you have to be. You know, I don't know. Like I guess that's just, this my thing. You don't have to be on steroids, but you have to be athletic. Look athletic, in my opinion. Uh. Then we have a good strap match. Actually, this was a pretty good match. Frankie Kazarian versus Hangman Page. That was actually a pretty good match. Uh, definitely, you know, I, I I think that would probably be one, one of my favorite matches on this card. You'd be surprised for, for uh, Frankie Kaz Kazarian. Kazarian looks in great shape. You can see he really turned around his career when he went to Ring of Honor. Uh, he's in great shape. Uh, I believe he can play both, both like, uh, heel and... And, and a face, so um, I think in, in this one, in this match, he was he was the baby face. Heyman Page was the heel you know, from Bullet Club. Um, some good spots. Um, it, it, it was a good good match, good strap match. Uh, then we have a Losers Disband match. It's the eight-man tag with Search and Destroy, which is the Motor City, Moto, the Motor City Machine Guns and Jay White and Jonathan Greshman versus The Rebellion. I haven't been watching much of, T uh, of Ring of Honor lately, I have to admit, and I haven't really been loyal to the company since I guess since Adam Cole left and Bobby Fish left, and you know uh, a lot, you know a lot of people, a lot of their top guys left. So I kind of haven't really paid a lot of attention uh, to Ring of Honor. Simple fact that I don't really get like the channel that they, that they're on. So basically, you know, this is how I kind of follow through the DVDs and through you know uh, the internet. So I'm kind of I'm not too familiar with the new wave of talent in Ring of Honor. So I know Jay White um, is now a big star in New Japan, and he's doing the uh, the switchblade switchblade gimmick. Uh, so again, another match I wasn't really too into. Then we have Jay Lethal versus Silas Young. That was actually a good match. Uh, Sil Silas Young, I think, is the last great like heel. And I'm talking about that. You, you understand that there's certain heels that are uh, the. When you when you're a heel, you want to be hated. You want to be booed. There's, there's no good quality to you. You don't want to get cheered. Nothing. But there are some of the some, there's there are heels nowadays, and you could take an example. Maybe the Bullet Club. I don't know if you can consider them a heel. I don't know what what they are. Sometimes they're the heels. Sometimes they're the baby faces. But now it's kind of like the cool heel where they, they still get cheered. You know, Adam Cole might be an example of this, where he, he plays the heel, but he still gets cheered from the crowd. And, you know, and, and he does have that, you know, like the that interaction with the crowd, with the, you know, Adam Cole, baby, and then the crowd responds to it. A, a, a heel doesn't doesn't play with the crowd and have that stuff like that in a traditional heel in wrestling. There's no good quality. You, you don't have this interaction with the fans. 
Um, and, and I think Silas Young might be the last one kind of like that. Maybe Brock Lesnar. Uh, I'm not sure about that. But you could tell he has he, he just, you know, wants to portray that heel character. Um, then we have for the, the ROH, ROH six-man tag team match uh, for the championship, we have Bully Ray and the Briscoes versus Dalton Castle and the Boys. Probably one of my favorite matches on, on, on the card. You can tell how much da Dawson, Dalton Castle is really over with the crowd. Uh, we can see the the kind of the turn on the Briscoes kind of turning heel and and are against uh, Bully Ray. It's weird because Bully Ray's a heel now. Uh, it's wrestling things change in, within days. There's a cool interaction between Dalton Castle and Bully Ray in the ring. It's a little they do a little comedy bit. Uh, the Briscoes gotta get mad at Bully Ray because they kind of he kind of costs cost them the match. And I think that leads to a feud later with them. And then, you know, but Bully is now a heel, I guess, now. Um, so I think that was, like, one of my favorite matches on on, on there. Then we had the TV title match, uh, Kushida versus uh, Marty Squirrel. Uh, again, another another good match. I think Marty Squirrel is a future Ring of Honor champion. I, I, I think that he can he's going to be a big star with them. Uh, Young Bucks versus War Machine, horrible match. I uh, did did not like it. It actually turns into a um, a triple threat match, I believe, um, because the best friends uh, they come out and I think, this, I think this is the one where they they do that. Um, actually, don't quote me on that. But like the War Machine, the which I watched this a couple weeks ago, um, Young Bucks versus War Machine was not really a good match. Um, and that's the kind of thing with Ring of Honor is that you kind of see a lot of the same matches over and over again, and, and it's good for the live crowd. Don't get don't get me wrong. I've been to Ring of Honor shows and I was excited to see the Young Bucks versus the Addiction, and I I, I really because you got to see them in live. But after a while, if you get the DVDs and you you're watching, it's kind of like the same match over and over again. Okay, the Ring you know Young Bucks will win this time, and oh the Briscoes will win this time. So that's kind of the drawback and you know the negative thing about Ring of Honor because you see a lot of the matches repeated over and over again, especially with the Young Bucks. Um, so I wasn't a big fan of, of, of the match with War Machine. Uh, and then you got the main event. Now uh, going to the main event, I think Cody was supposed to be the heel, and Christopher Daniels was the uh, the babyface because if you um, you know he's he's the babyface going back to to, to uh, the uh, anniversary show when he won the title from Adam Cole. He had that big you know, uh, reaction from the crowd, and they even gave him the old uh, Ring of Honor championship. So he was uh, he was going into as the babyface, uh, but apparently the crowd was really behind Cody. He got a huge babyface reaction. That I don't I don't know if, if during the match they kind of switched there, you know, and and uh, Christopher Daniels became the heel and did the heel. But like, yeah, everybody it was like a hundred percent like they were really into Cody, and you know, Cody definitely definitely. You know, I highly recommend this match. I mean, anything with Christopher Daniels, come on. I, I don't, I don't, I've never seen a match that he, you know, a bad match that he's had. Um, but definitely, you know, uh, again, not, my, not one of my favorite Ring of Honor shows. But you know, it, again, for, for me, uh, Best in the World is like one of the one of the the, the events I like to collect because that's kind of like one of their big shows. So I, ha you know, it, it, if you're like me, you, you want you want to like you know collect that. Uh, then you definitely should should buy it. Uh, the commentators for the event are um, Ian. Uh, that, I got his last name, but I think his first name is Ian. He's got glasses, blonde hair, and Cole Cabana. They're the new, I guess, the ta the commentating team going forward. I definitely miss Kevin Kelly and Steve Carino. Definitely miss their their um, their commentating. I think they had they were a good team. Steve Carino was the best. Um, you know, Cole Cabana's not bad either. He he's good too. But so this is that's it. And hope you enjoyed watching this video. And maybe you can add this to your collection.